for long span uh, structures like suspension bridges, uh, they're typically actually designed to be quite flexible and, and be able to withstand a lot of uh, deformation, a lot of motion. So the motion that we see in that video, for example, is not necessarily a cause for alarm and, and I'm sure the authorities are well aware of the uh, deflection. The key feature of that bridge is that the subway cars are on the outer roadway and so given that they are the heaviest uh, sort of single objects that move across the, the, the roadway, that does cause more twisting than if the subways had been down the middle lanes of the bridge. If, if one were to design the bridge to be very, very stiff uh, so that you would not see any deflection, it would be impracticably expensive and heavy uh, to design. It would be uh, practically infeasible for a large span like that. Uh, so in fact, uh, for let's say seismic loads, so earthquake loads or wind loads, uh, a bridge like that is actually designed to flex uh, quite a bit and that actually reduces the stresses overall.